Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 16 of Let's Play Lux Invicta. I've just revoked, or tried to revoke, the county of Ulm for my stupid little half-brother. And, uh, we've got some money now, which is good. I feel like, uh, 14th, yeah. My army is gonna just, we're gonna slaughter this little kid. Overextended provincial administration is no longer affecting us. Yes. It's gotta be based on realm size. It's gotta be. So we're attacking into the hills, they get a lot of bonuses, and I only have a single flank, so that's not good. These two little tiny flanks are very, very low on morale, but they are getting a huge flanking bonus, making them quite a bit stronger. I gain 12.6 morale per week, so I've got an advantage in morale growth. Plus we get military technology spread rate growing. We'll see. Um, we've also got reinforcements coming in from the sides. Ooh, they instantly routed that one, good. But then they died, apparently. In the chaos, we've managed to corner and slaughter a priest. And, uh, oh, excellent, that was their leader. They're using the no-tactic tactic. That's perfect. That's the same thing that I did in my, uh, in the mod that I made. Combat, uh, whatever I called it, I don't remember. If you have no commander, you shouldn't be using a tactic. Oh, god. In the middle of the battle, an enemy arrow hits one of your cavalry's cavalrymen's horses. The horse crashed down before you, before dying, but thankfully the rider seems unharmed. You come over to see how he is. Damn it, he says, I got that overpriced horse armor for nothing. Worthless horse armor. Better luck next time, friend. Is that from Rome? What is that from? That's from something. Surely it is. An arrow hits you right in the knee. <laughs> Okay, Skyrim, thank you. In the midst of battle, thankfully your armor was more than adequate in protecting you, and you bend down to remove the arrow. As you are just finishing, however, an enemy warrior lunges at you, and you only have a split second to make a decision before you raise my weapon or lurch and dodge to the side. So either way, it's... we'll see. Let's raise our weapon. Offensive. See what happens. Alright, so we won that battle, of course. Looks like we're gonna win that battle. Let's just chase his army. Nothing seems to have happened, so I guess that we we survived. No, we did lose that battle. Hmm. Disband then. Go home, you stupid peasant boys. So we'll chase him all over the place and then sit on Ulm, since it's pretty pretty essential for the war goal. And then I think I might do something tyrannical, like execute him. I'll, I'll throw- I'm gonna keep him in prison, since he's technically revolting. Although, actually, come to think of it, if I revoke that county, wouldn't that take him out of prison? I can't recall how that works. Ha! Ah, we beat the retreating army. We welcome you with open arms. In the morning before today's battle, your men captured some enemy scouts. They ask you what to do with these unfortunate wretches. Let them go. After the battle is finished, that is. Or imprison them, insignificant as they might be. Kill them. Let's imprison them. It'd be nice if you actually get like a random prisoner that way. That you can then ransom. <laughs> All I care about is money. Okay, defeating his army is probably not going to get me enough war score. I think we have to sit on Ulm. Yep, and we're just going to have to wait. It's going to take a while. Fortunately, we're pretty much just using the, the retinue and the vassal levies. I have quite a bit of money, too. I should build something. Already building stuff, okay. We'll go up to speed 4 while we wait. I really would prefer just to throw him in prison and let him die. Because if he dies, I'm his heir. The problem is that if I execute him, I'm pretty sure I'll get Kinslayer. Which was, you know, not something on my list of things to do today. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, shoot. I thought we captured him. Well, we'll just do that one. We're not going to steal his banner. Cannot siege the city. Alright. Well, let's go beat up his army. Are you willing to surrender? Do I really have to push you all the way to 100%? Oh, excellent. So, 
Never mind, as part of ending the war, we'll gain the county directly and throw him in prison. Perfect. So, okay, let's see which city, which castle's the weakest. 176. Yeah, let's just go siege Tyrol. I've got autosave set to monthly right now. Excellent, he surrenders already. So we, we take it from him, good. We achieve our ambition. Um, I can now righteously imprison him. Or I could plot to take another county from him. And gain some intrigue. I think that'd be a good idea. What would be the next best county to take from this little brat? This one's got 500 in the garrison, 176. Yeah, it's going to be Furstenberg. Let's see if we can plot to take Furstenberg. Excellent. And we've got plenty of people who will join. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm going to disband the that. Ulm is now mine, thank goodness. Let's uh, plot to revoke it already. Then war it is! Do you not remember how this worked out for you last time, stupid brother? And we'll just siege through this again. The priest class of the realm no longer ho openly hold respect for you. Oh, they've downgraded to... Oh, okay. oh, wow. Where'd all my authority go? Huh. I thought I had like 1,500. Did I lose 500 authority each time I declared war this way? Or because he defied me, maybe? Huh. I'll have to look back on that and see. That's too bad. That That's a really serious blow to authority. At least we're no longer chased. I mean, that helps. Still have quite a bit of, of gain. Yeah, so I've got, I've got the uh, monthly autosave on because I'm worried that this game will crash. More so than other games. I'll tell you when you get older. She became deceitful. I think I'm deceitful. Am I deceitful? No. I'm cunning. I love my character. He's amazing. He's fantastic. Yes, yeah, so playing on speed 4, you notice the autosaves a lot more often. And it probably would be better to do mercenary companies instead of retinue. Because they, they're also, I mean, they're very inexpensive. Even if, if I took the most expensive mercenary, it's only four gold per month. So 48 some gold per year. I pay basically that much for just 1,000 retinue, where I could have 4,000 if I hired the Victual Brothers. Of course, you have to pay 900 gold up front, but like this seems like a great deal. 2,600 men? I'll consider it. Although this money was reserved for the war on Bavaria. That's what we really need it for. At least we're able to siege with just the retinue. Kind of makes them kind of worth their money, but not really. Alright, my daughter is not dead. Amazing. I'll educate her. My heir is my half brother. I need to make some darn babies. Is what I need. Let's kick. Let's get rid of these stupid concubines that don't want to make kids. All right, that doesn't cost me anything. Good. You only had one son that died. Go away. You had a son that died. You're a failure. My wife has only made a single daughter, and she's not very good. She's trying for a child though. She's got the Grey Eminence modifier, so we'll keep her around. She's young, right? 25, yeah. Let's find some new concubines. Take concubine. I want concubines who are very fertile, preferably lustful. Hey, the Baroness of Freesting. You're married right now. <laughs> yep, you're mine now. <laughs> That's awesome. That's just freaking awesome. I love it. All right. Um, who else is lustful? The Lustful Baroness. A 29-year-old optimistic, lustful, thrifty clerk. She sounds fun. Who else? No other lustful characters. In my realm, at least. 
Let's ask our next door, next door neighbor. Let's ask my father-in-law. <laughs> hey, father-in-law. I know that your uh, your daughter, <laughs> she's she's okay. But do you have any concubines? Is there anyone else I could sleep with? She doesn't put out enough. <laughs> That's awesome. That is funny, funny, funny. And the warrior class is now dripped. Drop, drop down to interested. That's unfortunate. I need to get my my authority really back up quickly. And he just does not seem to be willing to um to surrender. We can actually siege this town for some reason. I don't know why this town doesn't have a huge garrison like the other one does. Oh, looks like the game's crashed, so good thing I have autosaves on. I guess I have to take an early break here. Hopefully it's still recording me saying that. I'll see you guys in the next video.